I think a lot of people are working around the clock to make sure that public is kept safe. U.S. Attorney Andy Luger can't talk specifically about the case of River William Smith, but said the undercover work in these cases is done by the book. These cases never involved entrapment. This is someone who wants to buy destructive devices or weapons. And then we conduct, we work with the FBI to conduct the investigation and bring charges where appropriate. The affidavit includes freeze frames of River Smith at a firing range, wearing a Punisher brand mask and helmet, practicing rapid reloading and attack tactics. He would later tell the FBI's confidential source he's pro-mass shooting, that he sympathizes with the Parkland High shooting suspect and believes the Colorado Springs Q Club shooter is a hero. Statements like that are part of the FBI's checklist that separates idle speech from potential threats. We look at speech that, you know, may admire mass shooters of the past and or present, people who have a perceived injury or grievance. Public tips go to the FBI's National Threat Operations Center and then are referred back to field offices like the one here in Minnesota and are assigned to a threat analysis coordinator. Most of the time people will talk to us and they'll let us know, oh no, I didn't mean that or, you know, that's not what I meant to do or say. According to the affidavit, Smith made anti-gay, anti-black and anti-Semitic comments, but what led to the charges were efforts to buy by auto sears or switches that can convert a semi-automatic to a machine gun. Plus, his attempts to buy grenades, which he referred to as little green apples in text messages to the informant. We need the public. We need the public. The number is easy. It's 1-800-CALL-FBI. Uh, when Smith was 17, he accidentally shot his grandmother in the hand with a semi-automatic rifle fired inside the house, which led authorities to seize his gun and a lot of ammunition. He told the FBI's confidential source that it had been hard living without his guns, and that's why he was prepared, in his words, to do battle against police if they tried to stop him again. Lauren? John, thank you.